It's a little bit silly, in it? I quite like it, actually. It's a wee bit daft. We're going to dive right into Redeemer, I think. It's going to be the first one. Uh, just beware, this might come in super loud. Oh, God, yeah, kind of like that. I'm sorry. Okay, there we go. All right, I've caught the levels. Jesus, that did come in like a wrecking ball. And it crashed immediately. That's never a good start. Okay, let's restart Steam. Usually a good way to fix that kind of problem. It's like, can we please, you know, not have it do that? That would kind of be nice. I don't think that's the right one, but you know, never mind. Warned you right before it came in. The problem with, hey, we're just going to go with something off the cuff does kind of lead into that whole, oh, yeah, we haven't done it like a test on it to see what happens kind of thing, which is a bit of a bastard. Yeah, there we go. Restarting Steam fixed it. It's usually the way it goes, especially with that. For some reason, like Unreal 4 games always seem to do this. Don't quite know why. Uh, just checking all that. All right, that looks good. V-Sync? What do you think I am, a peasant? All right, there we go. Motion blur? No, thank you. Uh, chromatic aberration? No, thank you. Rest can stay as it is. All right. Yeah, main menu for Nidhogg was a pain in the ass. The way that it looked. This, in theory, should work the way that it's supposed to. We'll find out. Oh, Kumo's face has disappeared. There we go. We said we'd start watermarking streams because people are nicking them and using them for their own videos. So if they're going to nick them now, they're going to have to deal with Kumo face in the corner. Just how it is. All right, you can stop with that nonsense. Thank you very much, music. There we go. Cool. So Kumo face is in the corner. We may very well have to change the transparency level of that. Yeah, Redeemer. So I heard mixture of uh, Diablo, a uh, violent brawler, brawler and Hotline Miami. Sounds fun. Let's get in. Let's check it out. There's a hardcore mode. Screw everything about that. Morning of peace. I guess I need to reset that counter. The okay. The of the vanishing star was supposed to be unreachable by anyone who didn't know its secret location. It has been a perfect shelter for many years. It has brought me a new home, a new family. It's just quite quiet. Hang on. Let me jack it up a little bit for you just during the cutscenes. I don't have ducking set up because I wasn't sure which game I was going to play and ducking's so like only working half the time. Life. There we go. A life of discipline over body spirit. Here I was no longer a soldier, no longer a tool, no longer a dog. I was a brother <laughs> Wolf. and a seeker of wisdom. That's what they told me, and I bought into the idea. But it's not easy to change a man like me. I did everything asked of me, but when it came down to meditation, I could still hear echoes of war firing up under my skull. I am an addict, you see. You can have an addict live 40 years resisting temptation. Then you give him a taste of his addiction, and he spirals out of control. That's why I hoped I would never hear another gunshot in my life. Monks say that when you meditate, you shouldn't allow your past or fears of the future affect your awareness of the present. It's very hard today. Really? You played Jade Empire 2? How do you do that? That doesn't exist. Alright. Let's rock and roll. I'm gonna turn that sound level back down. And my mouse has disappeared. It shouldn't really have done that. Uh, alright, there we go. Alright, let's go set this back down. Uh, let me know if the levels are wrong, if the game's too quiet, too loud, etc. Alright, we're in business. Nice. That feels pretty good. Oh, 
This is, uh, oh, yeah, this is pretty legit. Oh, you got to dive into people as well. That's nice. Oh, you can charge the kick up. Sweet. That's pretty sick. Yeah, it's definitely not like Path of Exile. Like, it has a full brawling system and a full combat system rather than just hold the button down and shit. And it's got blocking and dodging and stuff. It is a brawler. It's just from a Diablo-like perspective. Which is not quite the same thing as being like Diablo. Oh god, that kicks a lot of fun. Yeah, we've got no drop frames here, and the uh, the stream's looking normal on mine, so if you're getting strip- uh, skipping- Not stripping, skipping, that's Twitch. Or your connection, it's not mine. Oh my god, you can do that! Okay. Yeah, you shouldn't be getting any hitching whatsoever. Let's do a quick survey. If you're getting any hitching in the stream, press 1. If you're not getting any hitching in the stream, press 2. That's the majority of people. No, it's like 50-50. I don't understand. I wish Twitch would stop fucking up. Like, we've had this all week. And last week, too. It's just been... kind of crappy. I mean, we are running at 30 FPS on the stream. We should probably up it to 60. I don't know. I don't think I, we might be able to switch dynamically. Maybe. I, I heard uh, they, they have that ability now. But I don't know how well it works. I'd have to drop... Oh, okay, cool. So that's how that works. Nice. Yeah, we're not dropping frames. Like, it might be based on where you are. That's hard to say. Yeah, I, I think it's Twitch. I'm just- I'm sick of having to have this discussion every time, you know? It's like, is it Twitch? Is it me? I don't even know. Half the time, you, you just don't even know. Because people- different people have different experiences from uh, different places, you know? It's just- you know, you wonder why I like YouTube more than Twitch? When I upload a video to YouTube, this never happens. This is p exclusively a Twitch problem. You upload a video to YouTube, you know it's actually going to work. This, by the way, feels really, really good. It's got nothing to do with capture software. It can't be the case. If it was capture software, everyone would be seeing it. Just throw a fucking ladder at people, that's great. Ooh, um, this is already a oh yeah kind of game. This is a fuck yeah game. I love fuck yeah games. They're great. You got some seriously cool shit going in here. I do love my brawlers. This one in particular is already feeling pretty good. Yeah, two skip frames out of 26,000 ain't bad. Yeah, it's called Twitch for a reason, yeah. Because the goddamn performance is so fucking twitchy. Oh, you can put them in the fire! Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, please. What can I do with the tree? Come on. Come on, I need an enemy. Come on. I'm over here. Come on. Come to the tree. Come to the tree. Come to the tree. Come to the tree. Yeah. Nowhere to run. Oh, yes! <laughs> it is delicious! This is awesome. Oh, you can't, like, run them into whatever that is. Uh. Come on. Come to the fire. Come to the fire. Come to the fire. Yes! 
<laughs> Here he is, the hero of Kavach. This is truly an honor. Indeed. It must be. Plenish your vitality by killing enemies. Not a problem! Not a problem at all. Wee! Come to me! Come to the tree! It's all tied up in the tree. Whoa. Most impractically stupid wrestling situation ever, by the way. Oh no! He's trapped upside down! How could he possibly get out of this? Oh wait, there are loads of ways to get out of that. <laughs> it's an ammo crate! It's a barrel! It's another barrel! It's- that was the wrong way. It's a rock! It's a tree! All kills must now be done with rocks or trees. How the hell did five people make- No way it was only five people that made this game. You have got- You cannot be fucking serious. This game feels way too good. What even is the point of AAA game development anymore? I have to ask, if you can make a game like this with five people, what the hell is the point of spending 70 million dollars on a game that ends up, like, not making its money back? Like, you look at Hellblade, I don't even like Hellblade, but I recognize what Hellblade is and what it's achieved. Look at that game. That was done on its own with no outside financing. It has AAA quality mocap, basically the, some of the best mocap and performance capture I've ever seen in a video game. They released it for $30, and they did it on their own. And you know what? They got to do whatever the hell they wanted. No publisher bullshit, no day one DLC, no season pass, no microtransactions. Just a solid eight-hour game with a documentary on the end of it. With, you know, a good theme of uh, mental illness that isn't covered by regular AAA gaming. And I'm not into it, but my wife played the whole thing, and she was really impressed by it. And lots of people have been. Only thing I don't like about it is their bullshit about them pretending to have permadeath. You know, they can go to hell on that, but outside of that, like... You look at that and you say, what the hell is the point in publishers anymore? What the hell is the point in AAA game development anymore? And it, you know what? I think the people talk about the game industry crash. I mean, that's never gonna happen, because that, that's bullshit, and anyone that has even a basic understanding of economics and how the 80s crash happened clearly realizes that is never gonna happen again. There's just too much money in the industry for it. But if there was going to be any kind of bubble bursting, it will be the overpriced, engorged, hey, hey, overly expensive AAA game development process. They hire too many people, they try and do too much shit, they spend too much on marketing, and look, they lose money. It's how Tomb Raider can sell 7 million copies and still not be considered a, a success by Square Enix. How the fuck is that even possible? A game should never sell 7 million copies and be considered a failure. That means you spent too fucking much money on it. Way too much money. There's not even a question that that is the case. Not even a question. You can make this with five people. This. You can make Hellblade with, like, the 2030 for a $30 price point with no publisher. AAA publishers are obsolete. And you know what? Fucking thank God they are. Because AAA publishers are full of bullshit these days. And I'm sick of it. I'm, I'm just tired of it. Like, you know, there's some AAA games that I like these days, but there's so much bullshit associated with them. I'm just getting sick of it. I'm just tired, man. I'm tired of it all. Shit like this is great. For like, you know, $15, $20 price point. Because they're all like, oh, we need to sell like as many copies as, I don't know, um, GTA V. The be one of the best selling games in history. No, you don't. No, you don't. It's okay to have some of the money, not all the money. You don't need all the money. Okay? Alright, I'm um, all timing for a second. Uh, I don't know. Check both. Um, I'm supposed to have Absolver code arriving any minute. And I don't know when the embargo is going to be. If the embargo says I can stream now, I'll stream Absolver for you right after this. Yep, you'll get to see Absolver. 
If not, then obviously I'll have to hold on to it, but it depends. Like, Devolver's usually really good with their embargoes. Like, they, they usually let you do a lot, especially with streaming. So, I just don't know what they're going to set it to. Because Absolver's a big deal for them, obviously. This game is pretty fucking awesome. I'll say that. If you're asking why I'm using the watermark, it's because somebody basically nicked my Total War 2 stream VOD today and used it without my permission. And I'm like, well, what do I do about that, you know? Because I'd only heard of this... I'd, so I've heard about this guy in passing, because apparently, like, some people said, so this guy's calling you out. I'm like, I don't know who that guy is. Like, I don't respond to call-outs for obvious reasons, you know? It's like, why would I? I'm just, that's just like, what's the phrase? Um, a dog barks at the moon, nobody notices. If the moon barks back, everybody notices. The dog, the dog's famous. Yeah, that's the quote. You know, if the moon barks back, the dog gets famous. So, that's like why you don't respond to people like that. But like, what do I do? You know, do I DMCA it? Because it belongs to me. Do I leave a B? What do I do? It's a hard decision to make. Because, like, you know, the reality is you can't... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You threw him into the pit. You can't, like... If you let people do that, they'll take advantage of you later. So you kind of have to put your foot down. But... Simultaneously, you know, people are also looking for the attention. Like, especially right now with that bullshit drama video about me floating around. Especially now. You just, you don't want any more of that. So that's kind of what you've got to watch out for. Oh, yes. Hard to say. So, I, I let it go. I think that, that was, like, the, the best thing I could do is just let it go. What's the Lannister quote? The lion does not concern himself with the opinions of the sheep. Not exactly the best... Uh, people to take advice from, but on that on that particular matter, I guess it works. I wish I could throw this. The stealth system is uh, very basic in this game, definitely. I love the kick. The kick is the fucking best. Being able to kick people into other people like that feels great. Yeah, these guys are a bit tougher. The, uh, the directional uh, barrel throwing is a bit trickier than I thought it would be. And these guys are pretty heavily armored. This is seriously fun. Whoever tells me that Steam doesn't have any good games on it anymore just isn't looking hard enough. They're not. They're just not. There are so many good games. Are you fucking for real telling me that there aren't? I wish I kicked people into other people. That's definitely a thing that I wish was a thing. So, you know, maybe add that to your games. I'm not exactly sure why I throw somebody and they just die, but hey, I'll take it. This is called Redeemer. This came out last week, I think. Flew under my radar. I noticed because I think, well, am I going to stream today? Thought, oh, yeah, Redeemer. Sorry, I'm just replying to uh, Chris for a sec. We'll just keep an eye out for that Absolver code. Oh, it's not quite long-range enough. Wee! <laughs> that doesn't get old at all. Oh, it's a furnace. I haven't thrown anyone to one of those yet. Yes! <laughs> Throw the big guys in. That's a good... Uh, they, it seems like the tasers are relatively effective against the big guys. Oh, yeah, you can get a stun off on them. Throw a chair at him! Not that way, dumbass. Yeah, I wish the, the aiming on the environmentals is a little trickier than I would have liked. Oh, yeah, I've kept an eye out for Ruiner. Yeah, I'm waiting for that. 
That's not... I think it's, what, next month that comes out? Cheers! Uh, Ruiner looks, looks great. Seems like it's less of a brawler. But that's okay, too. For this, yeah, controller sports in right off the bat. Uh... I'm playing with mouse and keyboard, it's totally fine. It started off by saying press B, like, control-wise. So yeah, it's totally got controller spot. I think this is out on PlayStation. Oh, one can grab and the other one could jump on you? That's sweet. That's a neat thing for the fact that they can work together. I think this is out on PlayStation 4 as well. Possibly Xbox One. Pretty sure this is not PC only. Throw him into the river! Yeah. Maybe, you know, don't have him float on the river like that, but hey. Hit him! Hit him. Throw boxes at them! Right button, wrong button, there we go. But yeah, I definitely wish that was a bit easier to do. Aiming... Ah, okay, so if you hold the button down, you can then aim. Right, I thought it was just tap the button. That's why it wasn't working properly. Okay. All right, we're in business. All right, which way are we going? Usually there was an indicator as to where the enemies were. As to where to go next. Right now, there's no indicator. Guess this bridge, probably. Yeah. I'd like a few more enemy types. I've only encountered three so far. I'd maybe expect a few... I mean, there probably will be more of them, but... There's a hardcore mode, by the way. If you die, you, well, die. The environmental kills will take the big guys out. So it seems like that's the most efficient way of dealing with the big dudes, rather than fighting them outright, if you do have an environmental kill method to use it. Although, thro throwing chairs at them doesn't seem to work quite as well as I had hoped, I must admit. That does, though. Yeah, I love the I got it reminds me of Streets of Rage like because one guy could grab you and then the other guy would punch the shit out of you And not enough brawler games do that because like it's it's such a it's a it's a really good way To get cannon fodder enemies to be useful later on in the game because they can just act as something that can grab you So that's actually quite effective Keeps them relevant So I'll take you again. This is pretty sweet. For some reason, someone said this cross with Hotline Miami. No, it's not. <laughs> How is this in any way like Hotline Miami? It's not at all like Hotline Miami. Hotline Miami is a puzzle game, basically. It's an action puzzle game. Where everything, you know, everything dies in one shot. You and them. This is nothing like that whatsoever. That's a terrible comparison. Some people just don't have... They're just not very good at comparing games to games, you know? Comparing by stuff that already exists is a very useful uh, method of communicating information. And that's why people keep doing it, and I do it too. And I'm right to keep doing it, as are, you know, the other games' websites. But sometimes their comparisons are really bad. You know, Skyrim with guns is a legendary one, but holy shit. How... You don't... This is not Hotline Miami in any way! I think you missed the point of Hotline Miami if you think this is what it was. You know, it's a brawler. And it's a good one. It's a very good one. It's not Hotline Miami, you know. In... By no definition... I know possible definition of the word is that true. There you go. Toss him over there. Boink. Ow. Uh, it doesn't feel like um, Arkham either. There's no, like, chaining counters into counters into counters forever. There is a parry. It's a bit harder to hit. There is still the red flash, obviously. It's generally more of a brawler, and I do like the emphasis on environmental kills. Okay, dude. A thing. Oh, don't run that way. That's fire. This way. There we go. Oh, yeah, the good old disabilities there for Overwatch. I fucking hate that. Uh, Alright, let me have a quick look. I'm just going to check my email account just to see if uh, the Absolver key has arrived. 
No, no sound of it yet. No sign of it yet in my account. Keep an eye on Triar and your email. This is the job, I'm afraid. This is the job. As soon as we have one game... Can I cancel out of this? Nope. Oh, it's like a robot guy now, apparently. Which it seems like beating up still is effective against. Yeah, he's in so sort of a cyborg suit. Let's have a few more weapons. We did see an axe. Looks like there's a shotgun there. I think, uh, so, the only valid uh, Hotline Miami comparison, I think, is the improvised weapons and the limited ammo and all that kind of thing. But that's been done in tons of games. That's, that's not exclusive at all to Hotline Miami. So, I don't buy it. That did not work as planned. Limited use melee weapons. Fuck, Streets of Rage had that. Come on, that's not Hotline Miami. You feel like some of these games just gonna, you know, some of these guys going to gaming in 2003, and that's why they think that. And you know what? In many cases, uh, that might be completely right. They just haven't been gaming long enough to really know. Very superficial analysis. I'll tell you what we played earlier, Editor. We played the competitive mode of Sonic Mania. That rem that brought back some memories. We used to play that at my neighbor's house, because I didn't have a console, but my neighbor did. So we played on Mega Drive, and it was a uh, good old, on a 4x3 television, that squishy, compressed bullshit. That was uh, a bad experience, but we played it anyway. I'm going to go in here. I just want to see if there's like any spare weapons around. Guess not. We played it anyway, we had fun. On a Switch, it's actually really nice, because uh, that's ideal for widescreen. It's a much better setup. Oh, uh, so it looks like Absolver Keys aren't until tomorrow. Uh, tell her Devolver is tell told us it was today, and that's why we thought that. And apologize to her. For Devolver's mistake. <laughs> Alright, okay. No Absolver. That's fine. Get him tomorrow. That is a bad timing, because I've got Chemo Wednesday and I also have the podcast, so... I don't know, we'll see. Goddamn IGN first with their nonsense. First 23 minutes! I wonder what deals get made there. It's usually, I like... It's not money. Although I have heard rumors about that. It's definitely quid pro quo, though. It's like, we'll, you know, we'll give you this if you give us this, and... It's how IGN kind of stays on top. It's just through, like, sheer weight of numbers. They just, they have more money, they have more resources, they buy freelance journalists in huge numbers. And that's basically, like, how it is with them. If you wondered how IGN still stays afloat. They barely do. Like I say, I think IGN treats their freelancers really badly. I explained why last month. I hope a lot of the talented guys just go and form their own Patreons. Yeah. You saw, like, Greg Miller leaving IGN was the best thing for his career. It's like... He could have never possibly done anything better for his career than leave IGN. Got a combat knife. I like how there's different charge-up moves for every weapon. That's nice. And the durability on each weapon's pickup uh, varies, so you can't necessarily rely on a weapon for any more than a couple of swipes sometimes. Some of them are intact, a lot of them are not. Come on. I know you're there. Ah, we didn't quite have the reach for it. We can still stab him a bunch, though. <laughs> Oh, wow, he, he... So his finisher was he grabbed the, the, the guy's shotgun. God, I love the emphasis on environmental kills. I love environmental kills in games. 
I don't know why, it's just, it's so satisfying. Hmm. Can you eventually charge his Yeah. Yeah, you absolutely can. Uh, well, actually, no. Uh, you can charge the first one. Oh, yeah, it seems like... I don't know if it's just a variance, like, because they, they did one with the left and one with the right. I don't know if that was deliberate. Or if it's just varying up the animations. I think it's just varying up the animations. So you can either do a charge or you can go into a combo. Yeah, the game has an arena mode and it has hardcore, so when you die, you die for good. Can I say- oh, well, the monk's already dead. Never mind. I was like, can I save the monk? Never mind, he's already gone. The shotgun seems really powerful. <laughs> I have a chair! Ho, ho, ho. Wait, is that a pipe? Because you know I love some, me some lead pipes. Nope, no lead pipe. Disappointing. That was my favorite weapon in Streets of Rage. Good old lead pipe. Come on! Misses every shot. <laughs> right! Okay, then. All this scripted monk murdering is not okay! Let me save at least one of them. Come on. I like feeling like I can save somebody. Ah, I love that. I love the fact that executions depend on what weapon they're wielding. Sweet. Yes! So much momentum in this. Two good brawls in two weeks. Aztez and now this. Yeah. Two, different, two very different brawlers as well. Two very different styles of brawlers. Oh, that looks like a different kind of shotgun and I can't pick it up. That's disappointing. Oh. Oh, I get to save one! Lovely. Not what they're looking for. But otherwise, I'm all right. What do you mean, what they're looking for? They had a scanning device. Apparently, the two of us did not fit the parameters. They took the others alive. Do you know where Master Lei is? He should be in the temple with the others. I think I ripped someone and I uh, throw out on the bare hands, yes. This is definitely going on under the suggests. Entrance behind the shelves. Thank you. Find a place to hide. It will be over soon. Tread lightly, brother. I don't have much replayability it has, so uh, if you want to do a hardcore playthrough, sure, and there is that arena mode, but outside of that, like, it looks like it's a pretty short, probably pretty short experience. Oh, that's neat. You can disarm a dude with a firearm and then use it against them. Oh! Yes! <laughs> We're not taking suggestions now. I can find my own. I have plenty of games. Doesn't really take much. So I'll do something after this, I'm just not quite sure what. We usually just do two hour streaming sessions and we play a game an hour. Yeah. But I have a box! Do you have a box? I didn't think so. These guys are really bad shots. Yeah, it definitely feels a... Uh a bit easy, like, I haven't, like, felt like how I'm gonna die at all yet. I mean, I'm not playing on hardcore mode, but it's like the two options were normal and hardcore. I looked a scroll. I have no idea what that is. Uh, is it under glossaries, maybe? I, yeah, I guess it's just... I don't care about story in a game like this. Sorry. I bet there's one guy's like, I spent hours, days, weeks on that. I, I don't care. I really just want to murder people. And sometimes it's okay for your game just to do that. In fact, I would usually prefer that that's all your game is. Don't pretend to be anything else, you know? Just do the thing you're good at and do it really well. That's usually enough.
think it's because you regenerate, like, so much health from killing dudes, so I think that's probably the reason why I'm not having any trouble, well, killing things. I guess we're up here. And I was incorrect in that assumption. That's taken us, I think, right round in a circle. Would be nice to have a waypoint. It's a brawler, not an exploration game, so... There's nothing actually wrong with just... Pointing people in the direction they have to go. Looks like I found it, though. Oh, fuck that! Alright. Well... Oh, and he has a shield. Okay. So that isn't gonna work. It's- I think I can only attack him while he's doing that. Oh, okay. I- uh, You know those moments where you say, This is easy and you regret saying that? <laughs> like, just really bad timing in general. There we go. Yeah, we did a pretty good job of that. We are in stage three, it might just get a lot harder later. Oh shit. I think just like more gun enemies will probably make the game a lot harder. There you go! We finally got killed! So, yeah, that's the answer. Lots of good enemies. Fucking knew it. Every time, every time I say, this is going, this is really easy, this is going at boom! Game fucks you in the ass. Yep. Should have seen that coming a mile away. It's happened so damn often. I think it's like, there's gotta be a trope for that now. There must be, there's gotta be something on TV tropes that describes that. And these guys aren't fucking around, by the way. Killing with guns also doesn't give you the HP back that an execution would. So... It's worth bearing that in mind. It's worth doing the executions and such. The guns are an easy way to kill people with, but they don't actually benefit you all that much. Environmental kill! There we go. Keep the shotty, thank you. Nope! Yeah, this really did escalate quickly. Yeah, so suddenly they're putting you against power armored guys with guns and it gets really hard now. Yeah, invincibility to your executions is important. It's... You can't really have a game that doesn't do that. I'm not sure if there's anything more frustrating than dying during an execution like that. It's like, that's how I get my health back. How do you, how do you think it's okay to punish me for doing that? Now it's getting tricky. There we go. All right, we've got a challenge. Now I've got to play properly. All right, okay, all right. I accept that. Now I've got to start parrying. Instead of being a dumbass. And I guess hitting people with a torch isn't actually enough anymore. Also, there might be an easier way around. Oh, shit. Maybe if I, you know, dodged properly, that wouldn't be such a problem. At least the guns are equally deadly to them. Otherwise, we would be having more problems. Can't really stealth through this water either, so stealth kills not happening too often. There we go. That'll do it. I think we can maybe stealth kill this guy. There we go. Like, there's not so much a stealth system as just a... I'm dumb and didn't notice you system.
this is probably not the best way of doing things, and I probably should have just, like, you know, hit him. Oh, Christ! Yeah, those guys kill you quick. Yeah, greens disarm. Reds execute. Plus we... I'm not sure if these green glowing things are checkpoints. They're kind of weird, because there's one here as well, so maybe not. Yeah, you can and definitely should parry that. The problem is, if you're in melee combat with somebody, these guys can still fucking go after you. So, you can fight, but they'll they'll happily just shoot into melee. Yep. Game names always under the... They need to fix that. If people can't see game names on the mobile app, then their mobile app is shit. They've got to fix that. Oh, apparently that did not make enough noise to bother them. I'm going to go after this guy pretty much straight away. Looks like we're going to deal with both of them. All right. God damn it. There's just, there's so many shotgunners. And I don't have a gun of my own. Oh, if you press on the video once, it gives you the name of the game. Good to know. For some reason, I can't pick up those torches anymore, I guess because they're too high, maybe? If I take this around the corner... That's him gone. That's him gone. There we go. That's how you do it. Take them out one at a time, execute one, take the gun of the other. That works. It's nice though, it's a suitably deadly feeling to the combat. You die really quick. But only if you don't do it right. Come on. You just gotta be good. Your combat's equally deadly as theirs, you just gotta not suck. And don't overuse guns, because you're not going to get HP back that way. Oh, that is a lock rod. Okay. If we need to finish on him now. <laughs> Shit! Shit! On fire, on fire. Very bad. Sh also bad. There we go. That gives you a nice big health boost back when you do it. Oh, now I picked the torches up. Well, that'll stop me last time. Yeah, so Absolving will be a bit of a problem, like, that it's just bad timing, uh, with the podcast where it is, uh, and my chemo session the day after, I don't know if I can get you anything for Absolver. Not until, like, a week after. It's likely the review embargo will be later than the streaming embargo, so it's not hugely bad, but, yeah. We'll, we'll see. If they get me it early in the morning and I'm up early enough in the morning, maybe that'll be okay, but I've got therapy before the podcast. My therapy session's at 12, or maybe it's 1. I'm probably there to check that. So I don't, I, you know, I don't know how much time I'm really going to have, realistically speaking, to do that. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Oh. It's not letting me uh, put him on this bike. Maybe I have to weaken him first. Oh god, that hammer's so good! Mmm. It's got a lot of endurance on it as well. The guns are not weak at all. Shotgun kills regularly in one hit. Armored dudes in two. They're stupidly powerful. But you get very little benefit from using guns. You you lose a lot of HP by getting hit by guns. You don't get a lot of HP back by using guns. So you can. But it's not great. You should basically only, only use them if you have to. Otherwise, use melee. Because that allows you to do finishes, which will get you your HP back. Oh, my hammer's almost gone. It's a shame. Yeah, I definitely do wonder about the replayability on this, but... You know, I'm alright for a good six-hour romp that doesn't outstay its welcome, but I'm also well aware that I don't pay for my video games, so... That's always something to bear in mind. It's not always good enough for everybody. New arena. The arena modes for games like this are usually okay, but, you know, they're, they're not the reason to buy them. They're just like, hey, okay, it has this. I guess that's fine. Just flattened it with a rock. I love it. Smash him in right into the pillar. Should have counted that. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you, you can't necessarily get that counter right. I I don't think it's an instant one. I think you've got to hit it just as the clap is... Yeah, you've, you've got to hit it just as the attack's coming in. You can't just mash parry and expect it to work. Which is good. I think games that have been using the Arkham system lately have been a little too simplistic in that regard. They've uh, given you way too much leeway, and that makes the system pointless. This is sick, though. This is a lot of fun. Oh, here we go with you again. Maybe not in the middle of the fire. Fucking bastards. Yeah, don't execute people in the middle of the fire. That doesn't work. Shame the tooltips come up for consoles. That's uh, a little bit less ideal. Don't like it when they do that. It's like, you know for a fact that isn't... You know, that's not good practice on PC. Don't do it. Ah. Got the timing wrong. Who next? We still have those two pillars. There's one. There we go. There's the counter successfully done. Getting hurt by the regular guys doesn't really hurt that much. I don't want to use the environmentals. He says he's using environmental. It's kind of a waste on these dudes. I just want to make sure my health is as high as it can be before the flamethrower guy comes in again. Problem is, he's got two of the power armor guys with him. And I don't think his flamethrower hits the power armor. wasn't quite where I wanted to be. Get out of the way. There we go. Kabum Tish. Who next? That it? Alright. Hello! 
You didn't hear a word of that. Well, this. You guys are really bad at guarding. Very, very bad at it. Just FYI. The animations decouple a bit. Stabby Stabby, by the way, is pretty effective in this game. And the knife does a lot of damage. Why on earth would I switch weapons? What kind of a moron am I? Chair is weapon! Oh god, I want to see a pile driver there. That would have been great. Well, I don't have games with pile drivers in these days. And that is a problem. And, you know, something the media isn't talking about. Let's be honest. You know, the media is bad at talking about things that matter, like the number of pile drivers in video games. And we need to deal with that. And that's why old media is obsolete. Come on. Let's get this right. Oh, God. Oh, I get the timing wrong all the time. Can't wait for the next Yakuza on the basis of that. A little sick to do that in front of uh, his person he's murdered, but hey, it was uh, well deserved. He was a dickhead. Stab him lots. That is obviously not the way to go. This might be. I'm going for the disarm, kind of. Oh my. Hey! Power bomb! Power bomb through the table! Okay, that's acceptable. He's on fire now. So am I. It's just not an ideal place to be standing, but... Okay, power bomb through the table is in the game. Alright, that's good. I accept this. Your pistol sucks. And so do you. The power bomb did sort of decouple there. Yeah, so it looks like gunfire just does not work against the flamethrower guys. And you definitely have to just keep dipping in and out. You could throw things at them during the flamethrower period, but that's sort of about it. Guns don't work. That was that. Still a lot of dead monks. Unringable gong. Six out of ten would not buy. Looks like a boss fight coming up. When your master said you were a changed man, I thought he babbled nonsense. I know Vasily all too well, but that beard, you got me there. Did your master order you to look like this? Did you? No! That's what friends are for. Now you can shave it off. What a dick! Kick him in the head. Yeah, show me what those bucks have been teaching you. Or do you need to stretch first? Looks like I cannot counter those. Ow! Okay. I want to see what what I can parry of his, and it looks like the answer is not much. It's dodge. Probably about to hit phase two. Ow! Let my health regen a little bit. I think I uh, dive right into him there. Ow! Oh, didn't get the range on it. He's not really getting harder as I beat on him, I have to admit. Yes, you can take that as much out of context as you feel. That it? Oh, okay. Captured, I guess. I guess this is how you feel right before you die. Oh, Trank. Oh, it's okay.
I just wish my life revolved around something more than Burkut. Still, when I saw him, the part man, part toaster, I realized it could have been me. We were like twins once, both raised on the streets, enjoying the simple pleasures of life like street fights and sleeping rough. I mean, it's only made by five people. You can't expect magic in the cutscenes, right? Smart. Always agreed to everything he said. And I thought we would forever make the same choices. He was the closest thing I ever had to family. But with all his smarts, Berkut could not convince me to follow him this one last time. Now it's clear he's not done with me yet. Alright, we've done an hour of this. So I think we're gonna move on. Oh man, claws. There's some pretty sick shit in this game. It's good. Yeah, I, I really like that. That'll obviously end up being a... What the heck you call them? Uh, suggest a video. I'll uh, record that tonight. Like I said, there's extras. It's mostly just these scrolls, which is just concept art and stuff. I don't know if there's any other unlockable modes and such. It seems like it's just maybe a replay that might be a new game plus. I'm going to check the reviews to find out. But it's still fun. It's a good, like, few hours of a romp, so... Nice. Right, let's see what else I can dig out for you. I'm sure I've got something lying around. I'm going to take a few minutes break, and I'm going to be back with something else. Worst comes to worst, I'm sure we could very, very easily head on over to XCOM again. <laughs>